Sleep apnea is highly prevalent in the general population today. In this video, we'll discuss the consequences of untreated severe sleep apnea and how Soren Group's innovative sleep apnea monitoring algorithm can provide early detection of this important comorbidity in pacemaker patients. Managing cardiovascular comorbidities in pacemaker patients is a significant challenge. Pacemaker patients can be affected by comorbidities such as sleep apnea, resistant hypertension, stroke, heart failure, arrhythmias and coronary artery disease. It is notable that sleep apnea not only is a comorbidity but also has an impact on all other comorbidities. Sleep apnea is shown to be prevalent in 20% of people over the age of 65. Yet, it is estimated that between 50 and 90% of people with sleep apnea are not diagnosed and therefore not treated. Among pacemaker patients, it is estimated that one out of five has severe sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is an independent predictor of mortality. Pacemaker patients with severe sleep apnea have a four to five fold higher risk of death. The lifespan for these patients may be 20 years shorter than in individuals who do not have sleep apnea. Sleep apnea has significant negative consequences on cardiovascular comorbidities. For patients with sleep apnea, the risk of heart failure is 58% higher. The risk of atrial fibrillation is four times higher. Resistance to pharmacological treatment is increased. Recurrence of AF increases after AF ablation and cardioversion if these patients remain untreated. These major risk factors represent a significant unmet clinical need for earlier diagnosis and treatment of sleep apnea in pacemaker patients. We do see quite a few patients who do have sleep apnea or you suspect may do have sleep apnea. The reason why it's relevant is because if you, um, if you don't treat it, um, then that could lead on to other problems such as hypertension, right side of heart failure, and even atrial fibrillation. So we are usually vigilant, looking out for it, but probably not as vigilant as we should be. Sorin Group has taken 20 years of experience with its ventilation sensor and developed new models of Sorin pacemakers. The new devices feature a sleep apnea monitoring algorithm called SAM. SAM offers physicians a new tool for managing sleep apnea and other cardiovascular comorbidities in their pacemaker patients. The sleep apnea monitoring algorithm automatically screens patients at risk of severe sleep apnea. SAM defines the Respiratory Disturbance Index, or RDI, which has been validated against the Apnea Hypopnea Index obtained by polysomnography. Polysomnography is considered the gold standard test for diagnosing sleep apnea. During sleep, if a patient's respiratory cycles are reduced or interrupted, SAM detects the abnormal breathing events and registers the specific episodes. Alerts are sent to the physician for timely and efficient follow-up. Depending on the RDI severity and the patient's profile, the physician can determine the optimal therapeutic approach. Accuracy of the RDI was proven in the recently completed DREAM clinical study where sleep apnea detection using SAM was compared to detection using polysomnography. Study results showed that the SAM algorithm compared favorably with polysomnography. With specificity at 85% and sensitivity at 89%. Apart from the usual reason for maybe the why, why a reply would be beneficial, which is a small device, it's got the AI safe it's got radio acceleration, all those things. The, the 200 gives you the option of looking for previously undiagnosed sleep apnea, which is an important part of the management of these patients because we know these kind of patients can get atrial fibrillation, can get heart failure. 
may have background hypertension which mm -hmm. is poorly treated. So it gives you a, a bit more of a handle on that and may make you much more focused in treating an area where we have perhaps neglected a lot. The sleep apnea monitoring feature in Sorin's pacemakers automatically screens patients at risk of severe sleep apnea. Here is how it works. SAM detects abnormal breathing events at night. These abnormal breathing events can be pauses or reductions in ventilation. Our research has shown that sleep disturbances measured by polysomnography can be measured automatically by the SAM algorithm. Respiratory events are then counted to measure the Respiratory Disturbance Index, or RDI. RDI measures the number of events per hours of sleep. Patients with a high RDI are more at risk of severe sleep apnea. At follow-up, the physician can review a broad range of data, including the number of sleep apnea episodes, their duration and the RDI for each night. The data is available for the last six months. A severity threshold is used to indicate the patient's risk of severe sleep apnea syndrome. A F trend is shown in parallel to the RDI trend. When a patient is regularly over the severity threshold, there is a high risk of severe sleep apnea syndrome and the recommendation is to refer the patient to a sleep specialist. SAM is on automatically and programming the sleep hours of the patient is very easy. Follow-up is short and efficient and longevity is excellent, even with SAM on. If you have a device that is able to follow up the patient and at the same time give you a continuous information regarding arrhythmias, uh, for sure it, it, it has the potential to be very useful in clinical practice. In conclusion, the Cora 100 pacemakers automatically screen patients for severe sleep apnea. They also feature a suite of algorithms designed to prevent serious cardiovascular comorbidities such as atrial fibrillation and heart failure. The Cora 100 pacemakers are the world's smallest pacemakers with the best-in-class longevity extending the boundaries in cardiovascular disease management.